right, Scott. And what we're going to touch on in the next couple of minutes is just a couple things as they pertain to drugs up the nose. Now remember, in the ambulance side, for years, medics have been spraying Narcan up the nose because that is not the needle you accidentally want to get stuck with. However, on the pediatric side and now on the big people side as well, more and more places are routinely spraying fentanyl or ketamine up the nose for pain relief. And they're giving Versed or Ativan up the nose for seizures. And it works really, really well. Is when you look at the atomizer itself, Remember that it comes with two components, the first of which is this thing right here, which is what allows the drug to be sprayed and not just dripped into the nose. And it comes attached with a 1cc syringe. That is absolutely intentional. And the rationale is that if you're going to put drugs up the nose, the maximum that they recommend in an adult is one cc. For both in kids and adults, if you're gonna spray it up the nose, as a rule, if we can help it, we like to divide it into two dosages. That way we spray half on one side, half on the other, especially in the bigger volumes of liquid. And most people say we give a maximum of a half cc on one side and a maximum of a half cc on the other. And when you're trying to figure out, well, great, I know what the IV dose is, but what's the dose when it comes to going up the nose? Two different ways you can figure this out. Number one is on the Braslow tape. Normally, we just look in the areas that are colored from gray to green. However, on one end of the Braslow tape, it's got a little known section that's entitled No IV Quick Access Meds. And if you follow that area down, that's where it's going to say nasal midazolam, otherwise known as nasal versed. It's color-coded just like the other parts of the tape, but if you're looking for nasal meds and you don't have an IV, you look in the part where it says no IV, and that's where you're going to find your nasal versed or midazolam dose. Now, when it comes to Hantavi in the book or the app, if you want to give nasal midazolam or nasal versed, you simply just follow it down and you're going to find midazolam IN, meaning intranasal. This is the second thing that I recently learned in a lab put on by Dr. Peter Hantavi. And this was really kind of neat because like many of y'all, I've given drugs up the nose to kids for years, but this trick up until recently, Honestly, I didn't know about. And that's called, when you look at the atomizer itself, it has a little bit of dead space. And dead space, remember, means that there actually is space in between the syringe and where it's going to spray out the top. It has about 0.1 cc's of dead space. If we take Cantabi and we follow it down and we find midazolam, it says I want to give 0.16 cc's. So if you just were to fill up that amount of fluid and I go to 0.16, if I were to squirt this into the nose, they only got half of the medication. Half of it went to fill up the tubing. The other half went to the kid. That is crucial. So that's why many places, especially those that deal with kids on a regular basis, where they're a little bit more comfortable playing with these tiny numbers, will say that if it says 0.3, we add another 0.1, and we add just a little bit more. And the rationale being is that way, we actually not only fill up the dead space, but once I filled up this, then the amount that I actually want to go to the kid actually gets to the kid. And, and before you simply say the drug didn't work, it's not always because it didn't work. Perhaps it's because they didn't get the right dose.